This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. The Life of Batar Batar is an architect and the husband of Suyin Beifong, with whom he has five children. He helped create the metal city of Zaofu. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the life of Batar. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Early Life Suyin hired Batar as an architect in the creation of the city of Zaofu. Sometime later, the two married and had five children. The eldest, Batar Jr., became an engineer and began assisting Batar in developing his many public works projects. Huan became an artist, Wei and Wing invented the game Power Disc, and Opal became the family's first airbender following harmonic convergence. 171 AG While Suyin hosted a dinner for Avatar Korra and her friends, Batar passed by the dining hall and informed his wife he would have to eat in his office because he had a major breakthrough regarding the remodeling of a tram station. Suyin allowed him to continue his work, to which Batar responded by calling her the best. The next day, Batar, along with Huan, Wei, and Wing, were witness to his wife fighting against his sister-in-law, Lin. Their fight soon ended when Opal intervened. Later that evening, Batar and Suyin each gave permission for Opal to travel to the Northern Air Temple and begin her airbending training under Tenzin. At Opal's farewell dinner, Batar watched in admiration as Suyin praised their daughter and raised his glass in a toast to her. He later watched as she left for the Northern Air Temple in an airship. Batar Jr.'s Betrayal When Kuvira marched her army to the outskirts of Zaofu in 174 AG, Batar rode a metal train toward a vantage in the city to overview the situation. He approached his wife and announced that he would contact President Raiko in order to receive the support of the United Forces. However, Su Yin replied that it did not matter whom he would contact, as no reinforcements would reach them in time. Batar joined his family during their meeting with Kuvira, Batar Jr., and Bolin. He tried to reason with his estranged son, pointing out that his place was with them in Zaofu, though he was shocked and hurt to learn that Batar Jr. did not want to return, as he felt that he was living in his father's shadow. At night, Batar was pacing through the garden when he was approached by Korra, who asked where Su Yin was. Worried, he told the Avatar that his wife and twin sons had gone to infiltrate Kuvira's camp in order to end the threat. He silently sat by when his daughter tried to convince Korra to take action, and was shocked to hear Kuvira announce over the city's communication system that his wife had been arrested. He asked the Avatar what their plan of action was, and eventually left to watch over Iki and Milo while Korra, Opal, and Jinora went to negotiate with the army commander. When Kuvira later marched into the city and ordered everyone to bow to her or be sent away, Batar and Juan ostentatiously remained standing, much to Batar Jr.'s anger. He was approached by his eldest son, who ordered him to bow down to Kuvira, whom the latter declared as his rightful leader. Refusing to follow the order, Batar calmly expressed his disappointment in his son before being arrested by a metal-bending soldier. Escaping Imprisonment Batar, along with the rest of his family, was taken to a cavern underneath one of Kuvira's factories near Zaofu. They were all imprisoned inside a wooden cell that was suspended with ropes over a seemingly bottomless chasm. When Toph, Lin, and Bolin arrived, he was alerted to their presence by his wife and watched how Lin swung each of his sons through the air with her metal cables for Bolin to catch them. Afraid of heights, Batar cowered in a corner of the wooden cell where he held onto the bars and implored Lin to leave him there. His sister-in-law ignored his objections, however, and forcefully swung him over to their makeshift escape route. As he somersaulted through the air, his cries unintentionally alerted the guards who sounded the alarm. Batar and the others all made it safely to the surface, however, where he was reunited with his daughter whom he embraced warmly. After Opal and Bolin left to save Zhu Li and Su Yin, Lin, Wei, and Wing tried to take down Kuvira's spirit energy cannon. He was left behind with Huan under the care of Toph. When he tried to make small talk with his mother-in-law, however, asking her how she was doing and addressing her as mother, he was promptly reminded never to call her that. He later escaped with his family, Bolin and Zhu Li, to safety on Juicy. Evacuating Republic City A week after arriving in Republic City, Batar, together with Huan, joined the last group of citizens set to evacuate Republic City. They became stranded at Central City Station, however, when Kuvira attacked the metropolis a week before they had been expecting her and had her army destroy the train tracks. When Prince Wu arrived with two badger moles, Batar and the other evacuees followed the creatures underground as they tunneled a way out for them. 
He looked on in surprise when Wu started singing and dancing with renewed vigor when three of Kuvira's mecha suits threatened them, which led the badger moles to attack the soldiers and crush their machines. Batar and the others made it through Kuvira's assault on the city safely, and he later attended the dinner party to celebrate the wedding of Varric and Julie at Air Temple Island. He was seated at the same table as the rest of his family. Kuvira's Trial Batar was present for the beginning of Kuvira's trial three months after her defeat, along with his wife, Juan, Opal, Wei, Wing, and Team Avatar. After the hearing, he watched his wife confront Kuvira for having pleaded not guilty. After returning to Zaofu, Batar joined his family Korra and Kuvira for a meal after Su Yin's party escaped from Gaoling. Batar joined the rest of his family in returning to Republic City when Kuvira's trial resumed and gathered around her when she learned she would be sentenced to house arrest at the Beifong estate after entering a guilty plea. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to tell us in the comments. And make sure to subscribe and check out these other great videos from the Amagi. If you'd like to support me, you can also subscribe to my personal channel. See you guys tomorrow!